Okay, I'm back in San Jose, and you know what that means? We're doing another plug-in with Sam Pura. So for those of y'all who don't already know, Sam Pura is a legendary producer who's done records by Hundredth, Heavy Heavy Lolo, Story So Far, the list goes on. And he's recently started a plug-in company called Purified. Check that out over here. And I'm on my way to his studio right now to do his second plug-in release, the VU Compressor. The VU Compressor is modeled after his favorite compressors that he has in the studio. And I'm super stoked because I love Sam's processing and I love his compressors and I love his mixing work. And I think this will be an awesome plug-in to add to my chain. So I'm stoked to try it out. So a little backstory, I met Sam a while ago, a couple of years ago, down when I was working with Nail The Mix and you are I am doing the Nail The Mix vlogs. We hit it off, we had a good time. I was pretty shy back then, and I grew some legs and I bugged him to do the Liquid Death Snare release. Now I'm pretty stoked because we hit off a solid best friendship, and we're doing some plug and work together, and some videos, doing some content, it's been a real great time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so I've made it to the Panda Studios, and I'm here with the Samuel the Pura. You can hear you, you can hear me, yeah! This is me talking into the microphone. Look at it, it works. Look at it, it works. It is working now. You can hear me, you can hear you, you can hear you, and then you can hear me. It should be sending audio to this thing now, especially if I press. So at this point in the vlog, Sam and I started working on the VU comp video and the shorts with Teresa. It was super fun, and I'll give you a nice little montage of that. <laughs> All right, so now I'm back in my studio. I know this is apparent now, but let's test out the VU comp. So as I said previously in the vlog, I'm super excited about this compressor because it features all four of Sam's favorite hardware compressors that he has at the Panda Studios. That includes the A, the D, the F, and the 3A mode. The other cool part about this is, I know it's not exactly a super surgical EQ, but in this compressor, we have a top and bottom control, which you can drive pre or post compressor, which I think is very useful because it allows you to shape the tone mostly in one plugin. You can leave all the surgical stuff external to this and keep your workflow super creative. Other than that, the total harmonic distortion knob I think is a super game changer. For instance, if you were using samples that tend to be already pretty compressed and you don't want a ton of compression happening, but want that harmonic thing that a compressor does, you can use the THD knob to bring all of that harmonic distortion back. Or Take it out if you have to compress really hard and you need something to slam super hard, but distort a lot less. In addition to that, the sidechain high pass filter is super dope because it allows you to pass more low end through the compressor. And the mix knob is a staple for parallel compression. Another beautiful thing about this plugin is the auto gain feature, which allows you to see how much you're compressing and hear how much the plugin is actually working versus, I don't know, the old gain reduction knob that cranks too much and lowers the volume so you're not exactly sure what you're doing. But if you want a more in-depth example on this through all the mix elements you can possibly imagine, check out Sam's full video that I edited over here. So with all that being said, I'll leave the technical breakdown to Sam in his video and let's jump into a mix. In this mix, I exclusively used this compressor as the only compressor in the mix, even in the master chain. Fight me. All right, so let's check out that mix.
All right, so in this portion of the video, I'm gonna be going through some isolated instruments, drums, bass, guitar, distorted guitar, and I'll be turning the compressor on and off. So let me know what you think in the comments. All right, so there you have it. That's the VU compressor. So just a little things off the top of my head, just to note, I really dug this compressor because it allowed me to focus on creative compression rather than mathematic compression or just straightforward compression. I feel like looking at ratios, attack knobs, release functions, and a lot of overwhelming switches tend to cloud my judgment versus turning one input knob and looking at how much gain reduction is happening and using my ears to mix. I know that knowing the attack and release is super important and knowing what those functions do, but all in all, this plugin helped me stay creative. One thing to note that I've realized is that the THD knob is easy to go overboard with in many summative settings. So that means if I'm stacking bass, guitar, drums, vocals even, that harmonic distortion can pile up and can be overwhelming unless you know what you're doing, especially if you're using it in the master chain. Again, fight me. My favorite mode on this compressor is probably the A mode, just because I do a lot of drums and I like that sound. But I did switch myself over to the D mode if I wanted to find myself in a very expressive setting. I tended to like the 3A mode for guitars, and I found myself not using F in this mix. And again, the sidechain high pass filter is a super game changer just because I was able to use it for bass and allowed myself to compress a lot more heavily. And in my opinion, it was super dope for toms because it allowed that low end to come through and keep that sustain going. All in all, it's one of my favorite compressors of all time, and you should check it out in this QR code or the link below. Head over to purify.com and pick it up if you dig it. So there you have it, the VU Compressor by Purify. I hope you dug this video and I hope you dug my overview. And if there's any advice y'all can give me, please let me know in the comments below on how I should be doing these gear rundowns or these plugin rundowns. And if you dug the video, hit the thumbs up button, ring the bell for notifications, sub to the channel for future content from Mel, and leave a comment down below on what plugins I should be trying out or if I should go more in depth with the Purified content. Again, my name's Mel and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>